Hey everyone, today I'm demoing the Hydrus, the latest module from Serpent Modular. They call it a waveform mutator, which I think is apt. You basically have up to three inputs running into a max min circuit, and each channel has an attenuator and an offset control. Then you have a third output here, which is the two channels summed and inverted. So to explain what a min max circuit or a max min circuit does in this case, let's use some diagrams. So say we have a bipolar sine wave LFO. Say we melt it and invert it. If we ran those two signals into a mixer right now and summed them together, we'd just end up with zero, pretty boring. But if we put them both through a max circuit, then the output will always follow the highest point. So we end up with a series of arches. And you've probably figured out that the opposite is true of a min circuit, it always follows the lowest point. On each channel, Hydrus has offset and attenuverting, so we can move the signal up and down with the offset control. And with the attenuverters, we can flip it if we want to. So to summarize, Hydrus mutates your waveforms, like that's exactly what they said it does. <laughs> but it always relates to the parent signal that you patch in though, which is really great. There's no syncing it or anything like that. And of course you can use audio with it, you can use your modulation signals, whatever. But uh, let's get stuck into some patching. So I've just got a droning VCO going through the Sirius here, the low pass filter. And I'm gonna use another VCO as our modulation source. So here's a sine wave plugged in. As you can see by the lights at the bottom of Hydrus, it's a bipolar. So we're gonna plug that into the frequency input on the filter. And the behavior is standard as you would expect. The offset control is at zero, the attenuator is all the way up. So if I grab another output of that VCO and put that into another input on Hydrus, then you can hear that max circuit coming into effect. Now how about if I plug the other channel into the resonance control and I invert the signal with the attenuator. So now we have quite a complex stream of modulation happening. The strength of Hydrus really is though that it has these offset and attenuating controls because you can just mess around and find a really good sweet spot. A module like this doesn't really have an analogue in an ordinary sense, so it can be kind of tricky to know what we can do with it. So um, it's kind of a process of exploration, but uh, here's a whole bunch of patches that I've come up with over the last couple of weeks. On this patch, I have three envelopes coming from Ornament and Crime, all going to Hydrus. I have a VCO going through Sirius again. And I also, once again, have uh, outputs one and two going to frequency and resonance. But on this one, I also have the third output, the sum then inverted output, going to a VCA for a slight rhythmic effect. <laughs> Here I have two droning VCOs plugged into Hydrus, as well as an envelope from Ornament and Crime. The envelope's giving it kind of a pumping sidechain effect. Output one from Hydrus is going to Sirius. Output two of Hydrus is providing audio rate modulation over Sirius's cutoff frequency. So if we adjust the attenuator and offset control on channel two of Hydrus, then we'll be able to hear that reflected on the filter. In this next patch I'm going to explore how running sound through a max circuit changes it. So we're going to start with the 4MS SWN, just the default sine wave patch, slightly detuned though. It's a stereo module so we can plug both those outputs into Hydrus and get each side to work against each other. And the result is a kind of sort of subtle distortion, <laughs> mildly subtle, and adjusting the offset control can further shape the wave until it completely bottoms out. Like on the previous patch where we were using an envelope to do the sidechain effect, we can add an LFO and it will do the same thing, essentially automating that offset control. And attenuating it will make it less dramatic.
So I've set up a generative patch using Wogglebug as the source of randomness. I've got two of its outputs going into Hydrus as well as a static uh, about four volts. So I'm using that static voltage to act as kind of a hard floor. Channel one with the max circuit will not dip below four volts and channel two with the min circuit will not go above four volts. Channel one's output is going to ornament and crime where it's being quantized. Then it goes on to VCOs and Jesus, lots of stuff in this patch. <laughs> So in this patch, I've just got one input going into Hydra, so I'm not actually utilizing the max min circuitry. But what I've done is come up with kind of a call and receive style patch. So to break it down, I'm sending Hydrus a complex mishmash of voltages, and I'm using the outputs of Hydrus to open low pass gates, letting these two signals through. But channel two of Hydrus is inverting the modulation signal that I'm using to open the gates. So Channel 2 will only open when channel 1 is closed. But because we have the offset controls, we can override that manually if we want. So it kind of works as a performance control. So on this next patch, I'm exploring what more we can do with the, the wave shaping of Hydrus in an audio context. So believe it or not, this bass sound, it's all just sine waves going to Hydrus and I'm taking the two outputs of Hydrus and making it a stereo signal. So as you can hear, it's kind of like a rounded super saw type sound. So you get a little bit of that super saw character with the roundness of a sine wave. So this sound I kind of stumbled on from the last patch. I've still got the two VCOs and the SWN plugged into Hydrus. But if the tuning's drastically different on each VCO, then we get these weird sidebands happening, pretty similar to some FM sounds and some ring modulator sounds. Just noodling around with the tuning manually, you find some interesting sweet spots. Alright, last one. On this patch I'm exploring how we can use Hydrus to combine sequences and come up with something a bit more interesting. So I've got two melodic sequences from my sequencer going to Hydrus and both the main outputs are running to the quantizer on Ornament and Crime. So we can utilize the offset and attenuverter controls on Hydrus to sort of come up with a main melody and a counter melody. Because we're running them through the quantizer, they'll always be in the correct scale that I've got it set to. So I think it can be quite a valuable tool for coming up with interesting sequences. Well, that about wraps us up, I think, guys. I hope that's fully explained what the Serpent's Modular Hydrus can do in your system and given you some patch ideas. Uh, the module's available now. It's pretty damn cheap too, I gotta say. <laughs> it's kind of a no-brainer in my opinion. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys. Cheers. Cheers.